So Davis Mills, man, he's one of, uh, you know, my favorite young players in the league. Yes. You know, I think I heard you say this and I agree with this assessment. He'd have been easily the first quarterback drafted this year. Absolutely. So, you know, what an asset for y'all to have this, this, this high pick this year. You know what I mean? Uh, it, it's kind of like having one grandfathered in. What have you seen from him? And wh what did you see from him that made you want to make him a captain? I heard you talk about that as well. Well, I, last year, Chris, I'm the defense coordinator. Uh, Ty Rod's our quarterback. So, you know, he's going against the number one defense. He's running yeah. looks squad. So I got a chance to see him then. That's when the relationship first started. Yeah. Then preparing. And then get in a position where he's the guy. And if you look at how he played at the end of the year, there were a few bright things that happened to us, for us. He was one of them. Yeah. He can make all the throws. He's one of the guys. The yeah. guys, they like him, want him to do well, and will do what he asked him to do. So I've just seen every time the building has been open, he's been in it. So he's done all those things that make you want to follow him. Yeah. So I buy into him. Then you have to move. Now he's moved into that role. I'm the guy, man. I'm, I know I'm a second-year guy, but I'm the guy. Yeah. And we've just watched the way he's worked. He's protecting the football. He's a better athlete also than he gets credit for. I We played against, you know, all the young quarterbacks in the league. We played against them last year. Good players. He's in that mix. And I'm going to bet that he's going to be one of them that's going to go to the top. Does he do extra neck work in the in the in the, the room? <laughs> it what, looks what, that oh, way. That guy's it. neck, man. <laughs> it it looks that way, and that's why he's a. I mean, he's one of the guys too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you have to be accepted by your offensive line. Number one, yes, yes. they believe in you. He's mm -hmm. one of the guys. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm excited about what he's going to do for us. Do you think that the that your your quarterback has to be? I mean, there has to be leadership. There has to be respect. Do you think the quarterback has to be one of the, the, the top three leaders on the team. Like you've coached a lot of teams. A lot Absolutely. Of you do. I've just never seen it. Okay. If you, you know, a lot of times when it's a young quarterback, maybe he's rookie and he becomes, you don't want him to be in that role. Right. But he has to be in the leadership role. There's no way around it. Yeah. I think the same thing with your Mike linebacker. Is your Mike linebacker, he's making all the calls and he's not your guy. You're not going anywhere. Quarterback, Mike Linebacker, they have to be in that role. A part of their uh, – the things that you're looking for has got to be on who they are. We have that in Davis Mill. And then yeah. it doesn't hurt that he's a Stanford guy. I know – you know, yeah. you know, yeah. Chris, uh, all of the tests you did well. I mean, you, you're known as a smart – it doesn't hurt to have a guy with that intellect also, you know, yeah. at both of those positions because yeah. they have to be – Davis Mills has another offense as well as Pep. He does. Yeah. And and that would definitely be the case for him. I also think just under you know, the one of the most important kind of intelligence for a football player is emotional intelligence, you know, which I think you have as a coach, right? Like understanding people and you know, being able to relate to people. Like, and if you have that and the intelligence, like that, that's what makes a leader, in my opinion. That is definitely the case. And you know, a lot of times, you know. You know, people say, hey, leadership, and he's a leader. He just scream and yell. No, it's got to be substance uh, to what you say when you open your mouth. And that is Davis. Yeah. He's not going to dog cuss the guys and all of that. He's going to yeah. take care of his business. But if he has to let somebody know something, he'll do that. Yeah. And I've seen different guys. And this is, these are the kind of guys, I'm talking about the quarterback position, that can bring the team together. No question. You know, Mechie's been dealt a lot of, you know, tough breaks. You know, this yes. kid, I, you know, I really feel for him. I know this isn't a football issue. I mean, you know, he, it's bigger than football, and mm. I'm sure you guys are supporting him. How do you support somebody like that? I mean, because obviously he's not in the training room, but how do you make that commitment and say, hey, we're with you every step of the way? Um, it's <laughs> such a unique issue. I know that uh, David Quisenberry had, had an issue down there in Houston as well. Um, and, and had to go through some treatment. How do you, how do you approach that as a head coach? The first thing we did, Chris, was let him talk to the team, you know, to just go over, Hey guys, this is what I'm going through. Uh, even though I'm not going to be there as often as I like right now, just know what I'm doing while you were taking care of business, just know what I'm doing. And for them to know hey, it's leukemia. He's in a, he's in a battle. 
we understand that part of it. Yeah. But if you've been around John, he's followed some things in his life. And if you have something like that going on, first off on where you are, we're in Houston, yeah. MD Anderson, best, uh, some of the best doctors around are yeah. right here in town. So with the team knowing what the plan is, no different than football, guys. Here's our plan on how we're going to win football. It's been established uh, the plan that John's going to have this year. So, and, and as a team, as coaches, a part of the team, support. Being there, reaching out to him as much as we possibly can. And in time, they'll be able to see him around here also. Listen to the full podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and other podcast streaming platforms. Uh, wherever you want to get the podcast, you can get the podcast. Pretty simple. New episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Podcasts get pretty wild. This is real tame.